Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to execute multiple statements, update, delete, insert with parameters in OLEDB command transformation in SSIS package. We will learn how to read the data from a flat file source in SSIS package. Then we will learn how to write insert statement with parameters for OLEDB command transformation. And we are going to learn how to write update statement and a delete statement with parameters for OLEDB command transformation as well. And finally, we will learn how to run those statements together in one OLEDB command transformation and map the uh, parameters to the input columns. Now, what I have for you, I have a few tables and uh, one of them is called dbo customer underscore as and the other one is called as underscore hist so that's a history table and then i have a table called dbo customer underscore na so this has called customer id customer name street address city and state all of them have the same columns now if i will run this select statement what we get we have no record in the customer as and we have one record in the uh, history table and then we have two records in the NA table and what I want to do I want to write uh, insert statement uh, to insert the data into this table and then uh, I want to use uh, this uh, uh, table for update statement and then a final table I want to delete the record if customer ID matches with the customer ID so I'm creating a scenario for you to, so you can learn it maybe for insert we can use multicast and insert into the OLEDB destination but I want to show you here how you can use all these three of them together in one OLEDB and there is a different points we will learn when we will create that package next what I have I have a file that has only one record with customer ID one name Amir and then street address and state and city now close this one let's go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and create an SSIS package so click here on SSIS packages tab go new SSIS package then we will call this one OLEDB command transformation underscore multiple statements so I'm gonna multiple statements now the very first thing what we will do we will read the data from a flat file we will be using a data flow task here and inside the data flow task we will be using a flat file source so I go to other sources and then get flat file source make a connection to my file browse select your file and then change the setting on this uh, connection manager editor if you need to in my case everything is coming correct so I'm gonna leave this one as it is I go to columns and then I go to advanced and I'm gonna change the data type for customer ID that should be integer instead of uh, string so I have changed that change that one rest of them look okay for state I'm using only two characters so I'm gonna change to two characters and it is going to be string as well I'm gonna preview the data comment correct and hit OK now retain all values from the source as null values in the data flow that means if you are getting a blank values and you want to convert them to the null you can hit this one and then go to columns and hit OK now we are all set next uh, we will be bringing an uh, OLEDB destination sorry OLEDB command transformation their names are mixed so sometimes you just say OLEDB and then command command or destination so here we are going to use OLEDB command transformation and the very first thing if you remember what we want to do we want to insert the data into this table and we know that it has a customer ID it has a customer name and street address city and state so we have to prepare our insert statement let's prepare our insert statement for first table insert into this and then we say values if uh, you want to select some specific columns you can do it in my case I'm gonna uh, use all the columns so I didn't put any column here but you can always uh, put the columns if you want customer ID then customer name so that's how you can select uh, 
the specific columns if you are interested to put them in my case as I'm using all of them so I'm gonna leave this one as it is now for each of the value I'm I'm going to place with the question mark so I have five columns one two three and four and five so I will be putting five question marks these question marks will become a parameter and then they will be used to map against input columns in our SSIS package in OLEDB command transformation. So we can copy this one and go to the package. Click here. As we are using OLEDB command transformation, we need to have OLEDB uh, connection manager. So let's create one. So we right click here in anywhere in the connection manager span and go to the new OLEDB connection and you select the already existing one or you can create a new one in my case I had it so I deleted it I'm gonna create a new one so you have to only provide the SQL server name and the database name if you are using some other database um, relational database management system you will provide that server name in my case I'm using SQL server so I provide SQL server name and here I provided a database name test the connection looks good now hit OK here come back select the connection manager so that's like OLEDB connection manager go to the component properties and go to the SQL command here paste your query now we have five parameters that we have to map and if we come to mappings here we see those five columns and they don't tell us like okay this one is customer ID or this one is customer name or street address or city or state uh, there comes with the sequence so we know that first one is in our sequence customer ID and customer name street we can also change the sequence by putting the columns here the way we want it so, but uh, I'm gonna leave them as default so customer ID customer name street city and state so that's how it is go back and we can know that customer ID is the very first one customer name is the second one and then what we have we have street address is the third one and we have city is the fourth one and state is the fifth one I'm saying fifth one but this is a parameter 4 because the parameters start with 0 so that's why it is uh, showing you parameter 4 but it actually in the sequence it is fifth so that's how it will be starting with 0 but going uh, to the next number and uh, this 1 2 3 4 5 so this is fifth now we are all good if I run this statement uh, or uh, with this package uh, what what is going to happen it is going to insert uh, that record uh, here in this uh, table so we can go go ahead and uh, run the package and take a look what happened so that's it that completed run the select statement the, the data is inserted by the OLEDB command transformation in this table and we have correctly map those columns here I'm gonna truncate the table just for the next run now what we want to do for hist we want to update the values and if we need to write the update statement so we will say update dbo customer let me copy this one real quick and we'll say set customer name is equal to question mark and then we will say street address is equal to question mark as well then we say city is equal to question mark as well so any value we need to update and state also is equal to question mark. These will be coming from the input columns where we, as we are updating we want to say customer ID is equal to question mark. So depending on the customer ID value we will update these values. So let's uh, take this query and place uh, in our same already be command transformation so hit here and then put it here now what we have here we have first we have insert and then we have update hit ok go to column mapping and you can see that all the new parameters show up here so we have all those parameter 5 6 7 8 9 
uh, coming here so but uh, now we know that for the update what we need to do we need the customer name if I go back here and I have customer name here I will select and try to map to this one what happened now we cannot map the same input column to two output uh, sorry two parameters in OLEDDB that's the problem and uh, that's uh, we have to come up with some uh, different logic here so we need the customer name we need the customer uh, uh, um, street address and uh, city and street uh, and we need the customer ID I can't really take from here and map it because if I will map it, it this mapping will break so there is no way I can do it now what I'm gonna do here I'm going to introduce new columns so I'm gonna use drive column here there are multiple ways to do it you you can maybe use three different OLEDB command transformations here and use multicast here and you can map them but I want to use only one OLEDB command transformation and perform the uh, everything in this one so I have to build the new columns so depending on this one I'm gonna build a new one so let's see customer ID customer name street address city and state right so I got these columns and I have to rename these columns. I'm gonna call them U, U, UPT update something like that customer ID UPT uh, name customer name and then uh, I'm gonna call UPT address or street address whatever you want to name it UPT city and then you have a UPT state so that's how you will create all them remember we have to add one more statement that's called the delete statement so we need to have customer ID because we are deleting the existing record depending on the customer ID so I'm gonna call this one Dell and call it a customer ID we will use that later I will show you how so we are all good with this one now we go back here and map those columns and we know that so the very first uh, in the update statement is uh, update customer name and then we have address city and state and final we have customer ID so let's uh, do that by sequence move this one a little here here and now this one is customer name this one is customer address this one is customer city this one is customer state and the final one is a customer ID now I can hit refresh and we are all good we can go ahead and run this one it's saying UPT cannot convert between Unicode and the string so here what happened when we will creating when we was creating these uh, column it uh, selected uh, the Unicode DT WST and Varchar so that has to be done uh, and convert to the Varchar so how I'm gonna do it I'm gonna use DT STR so we can even go to the typecast and we have DT STR that's a Varchar and length uh, you have to provide the length 50 and then you have to provide the code that's a correlation code is 1252 for us that's it now it is string and it should not give us error we can copy this whole thing and that's how we will convert or cast our columns here in drive column transformation we are all good here we want to do two of them if it is straight is only two characters we can do that and uh, that's all we need here the error is gone we are all set now the final thing is left we have insert we have update in the same OLEDB command transformation now the final thing what we want to do we want to delete the records from NA table so we'll say delete from where customer ID is equal to question mark I'm gonna copy this one go back and just put it here and as we have created a column for that one we are gonna use that one so the last parameter will be this is parameter 10 for our delete statement 
and we will be mapping to the Dell customer ID and hit OK. Now what we see parameters are not bound all parameters in sequence must be bound to input column so let's see what happened here delete from a customer ID okay refresh hit OK parameters are not bound the parameter in the SQL statement must be bound to the input columns so let's see if we are getting the input columns okay so there maybe there is something missing here see one column we missed it here so this one parameter 9 that's related to the update statement and it is customer ID so let me see customer ID so UPT customer ID so if you have a, a parameter you are not providing the value it's gonna throw you that inbound uh, error so hit okay now we are good now the final thing what we have to do we have to take a look in our table so right now what we have we have no record in the first table let me write in no record second we have a record but it's a customer name Amir Shahzad and we are updating with the file that should be only Amir and the last one we have two records and this should be deleted so one should be deleted so that's how I will test my package let's run the package and we have the value here that's why I was saying it should be updated to Amir and the ID one is present so I, that will be deleted in the final and one record should be inserted by using the first statement let's run the package it uh, took one uh, row created multiple columns by using the same columns ran three statements uh, in uh, OLADB command transformation and now check the output so first of all one record should be here okay so that is there that's good news now this should have Amir instead of Amir Shahzad that's fine because it was Amir Shahzad now it is updated to Amir that's correct and uh, here we should have only one record so that has only one record there was one record with ID one that is deleted so that's how you can use uh, multiple statements uh, in uh, OLADB command transformation and remember I was telling you it's your choice uh, or the way you want to design it the same package can be done with three OLADB command transformation instead of using a derived column here you will be using a, a multicast here so from here let's say you can disconnect this one I want to just show you a different way to do it you have multicast here and then uh, you have OLADB command transformation here one and then you will have another one so in one you will do update in one you will do insert and in one you will do the delete but as you are inserting it you might not use OLADB command transformation here you might just use the OLADB destination and for delete and update you will use two of them so there are multiple ways uh, different ways uh, to do the different things uh, and uh, it is your choice uh, sometime uh, you test it and whatever works best for you in my case I wanted to show you there is a possibility to run multiple statements uh, in uh, OLADB command transformation with multiple parameters uh, and you can achieve that uh, in a one compact uh, uh, package so thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video